man, it's been a while. Food FAQ, how are you all doing? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Listen, if you're like me and you grew up enjoying good rum and raisin ice cream, or maybe when you're baking, you want to add a little kick to whatever dessert that calls for raisins, or maybe you want to do some flambe plantains. I've got that video coming up soon, so stay tuned. It's like a foster, but anyhow, today I'm going to show you guys how simple it is to make a vanilla rum soaked raisins. It takes about a week or so, but man, it's the holiday season, you're doing your baking all that. Pop some of these babies in there. Mm -hmm. It's basically three ingredients you'll need. Raisins, rum, and I like using a dark rum and vanilla pods. Now these are very expensive, so I'm, there are two pods in here. I'm gonna end up using maybe half of one of them. Just, and you, you know why? Yep, there's that why. Why are you using vanilla in this rum and this raisin? Yeah, you can just go ahead and do it without, and these are nice and big and fat, boy. Whoosh. You can do it without the vanilla. But in my humble opinion, with that vanilla note, and you know, a good rum will also have that vanilla notes and all that in there. And you, it's just goodness. It's just goodness. Trust me. I've got a glass jar here with a lid, and I've got that little snap mechanism with a seal. And you can get these. They're relatively cheap. I think under two dollars at the dollar store. So in goes those raisins in there. Oh man, does that vanilla ever smell good? What we're gonna do? We're gonna cut half. I'm gonna use this for another recipe. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a vanilla enhanced sugar and then we're gonna cut this down the center like so I'm just gonna open it up like so and I'm gonna leave no oh, there's all that niceness there but I'm gonna leave it on on the pot itself well I'm gonna scrape it down into into the jar so that vanilla bean is going in there then it's just a matter of topping that up with good old rum. And that's going to soak. And it's going to take on the flavor of the rum and the vanilla. And you're going to have something there that's just screaming at you every time. You know, a, a simple thing like plain vanilla ice cream. You put some of this in there. Boy, oh boy, does it. But, yo, give it about a week or so at least. And the longer it stays in there, the better it will be. Now, here's the thing. Once you start using the raisin, you can always top it up with some more raisin and keep giving it, a, giving it a good mix. The other thing you can do is, from time to time, use some of the rum as a syrup as well too. You know, it's win-win. You're getting a nice flavored rum and you're getting infused raisins. Basically, all that's left to do is to give that a little mix. I've, I have some of this over a year old, but that one, I use that overproof rum from the Caribbean. Boom, bam, lock. 